Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Cooking Simulator. Thank you so much for the love on the first two episodes. Sorry if you can hear, I've got a little space heater on in my office because it's as cold as a circumcision up in my office right now. But uh, we're going to go ahead and load back into it to old Chef Hova. Uh, wait a minute, Is, okay, that's a quick save and then what? It's the same progress and such, I think, looks to me. Anyways, yeah, we'll go with Chef Hova. And, um, yeah, shout out to the comments uh, that called me out for being an idiot. Uh, because obviously 120 seconds is a minute and 20 seconds. Like, Jesus Christ, how drunk was I? Um, you know, when I was recording that, I just, wowzes, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but, we are back. There's like a Swiffer over here, bro. Did I drop it? I did. What the hell? Is it stuck? trying to clean up the place bro look at this do 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 the chores never stop ladies and gentlemen they never stop what is going on get out of there thank you the swivel action is nice all right let's put it up where it belongs i think we open for business here in about 30 minutes or so. You throw it a little. Nope, not enough. Here, we gotta put this back just right. Me. Okay, this is impossible. And I just wanna go right into the corner here. There we go. Just like that. Wait, can we, like, put stuff in the bucket? Uh. Reset position. Left handle. Look at that. Go faster now? Sick, dude. Pouring. Aw, oh, you can't see the water. Dude, why is there propane in here? It's time for a science experiment, boys. Oh, come on. Okay. What about this? Wait, operate. There we go. Oh god, I'm scared. Is anything going to happen? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we just go on about cooking our orders. So we got to cook a tuna steak here. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Also, people were pointing out that the total cook time... Oh, God! <laughs> that, that really scared me. Uh, excuse me, timer. That is not where you go. You go over here. Actually, I don't know where this one came from. All right, let's turn these burners off. We don't want to be wasteful. I wonder if the guests heard that. Let's turn this on. Let's get our spatula off. And let's hang that back up there. Is the grill working? I don't see it moving. I think we may have broken... I think we may have broken the stove. Okay. I see heat coming off of it. Oh, damn. Um, well, we still got all this stuff over here we can cook with. So it's not too big of a deal, you know. I <laughs> may have blown up half of my kitchen. So, you know, no big deal. Did the tuna die? I think the tuna steak died. Is time moving? Okay, yeah, I didn't know if we, like, broke the game. Let's get this out of the way. Just put that over there. 
That'll be fine. Still got one good. Let's see. Maybe the tuna just died. Yeah. See, there we go. Now, now our, now our steak is cooking. Uh, so yeah, I think with this, I've been waiting until it got all the way green and then flipping it. I think, I think the the bar is for the entire steak, not each side, which is what I just kind of assumed uh, the first time. So. Uh, I guess we can go ahead. Oh, I didn't season it or anything. What am I doing? Let's see here. Um, salt and black pepper, five of each. One, two, three, four, five. Put that back over there. Where'd my black pepper go? Oh, no. The pepper got lost in the explosion, I think. Damn, where's my pepper? Whoa, my game just about broke. Some sugar? How about no? Damn it. No! Okay, put that back up. Let's get a plate. I think these guys are going to be really happy with their order, to be honest. Um, if I could just find that... That darn tootin' black pepper. Where is it? I don't see it under anything or nothing. No, see, it does come back to the other side. I don't know. This order is not going to be very good. In the meantime, let's uh, <laughs> let's see what this does. I don't think that'll be a problem. That's a fire extinguisher. It's meant to prevent fires, just like Smokey the Bear. Everybody knows that. All right, let's get a let's get a lemon over here. I think that should be fine. We don't have to really be concerned whatsoever. Ho ho ho! Okay, maybe I was wrong. You know what? We're good. This is fine. Let's just turn this off. We'll probably need some taters uh, later. How's this tuna steak doing? There is no way anyone's gonna eat this. Can I buy more black pepper? Let's see here, spices. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe I used it all. One, two, three, four, five. Overtime. Listen, dude, I'm in here extinguishing fire bombs and stuff. You know, I prefer my tuna steaks medium rare. So I cooked it under for you. Why is this? Oh my. You can slide down a little bit. Come on. Come in. Eh. Come on. There it comes. Come on. You gotta wiggle it. Just wiggle it. Ho! Oh! Caught it. We're good. I am a champion. Oh god. Bloop. Oh, that kind of worked. All right. I think we're gonna stop worrying about what the customer wants and just kind of give them what we know they want. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Let's put that down over there. Put one lemon on the plate. Where'd the... Oh, God, Lord. What the... Okay. Alright, let's start over. This is fine. This is fine. Don't worry about it. Listen, a little bit of... A little bit of floor gravy never hurt anybody, if you know what I'm saying. Can I pick this up? No. Alright. There we go. Let's, can we get that? Hello? No? Get a new piece. Don't worry about it. Get a new piece, bro. Alright, and then let's put some cilantro on it. Just to be different, you know? A little bit of Mexican medium rare tuna. That actually fell into place kind of nice. Alright, let's see. Excuse me, door. Let's see what they think. Let's see what they... <laughs> Hey, one and a half stars is acceptable. I'm okay with that. Uh, we should probably go ahead and refund them. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, okay, now let's see here. Let's, we're gonna go off the menu here. Let's see if we can get. Yeah, let's get this, and let's put a trout and some tuna in there. Let's just... We're going to need a little bit of... Can 
Can I put it in there? There we go. I need a little bit of water. There we go. And as you can see here, we have the beginnings of a delicious stew. <laughs> got our trout and tuna in there. Let's put some ginger. Give it a little kick. Eh, more ginger, more better. That's what, that's what dad always said. Let's see what we got over here. Um, let's do... I mean, if we're making a stew, we gotta have some potato. Right? We'll just leave the lemon on the board. And just chop it up, guys. Just chop, chop, chop a roux. Get the lemon in there. Doesn't really matter. See, when it comes to a stew, guys, stews were literally invented um, by Abe Lincoln in the 1940s. And the reason he started making stew was because they didn't have enough money to feed the family. And they just had a bunch of scraps, but nothing that really made sense. And they just cut it up. And and put it in a pot and cooked it and you know and it and it worked you know so let's see if we can yeah just like that and we'll just get some scraps back in there that fell out let's go ahead and do that oh that went in the fryer that's fine all right so now that you got your potato and your trout and um, what else we put in there uh, potato trout tuna lemons you're gonna want to just put oh wait what's that there's the secret ing ingredient the sunflower oil yeah tilt the bottle wait what where's the Put a whole bunch of oil in there. <laughs> and then, uh, what you're going to want to do here is go ahead and put it on your stove and turn it up to... Well, that's the wrong burner. You're going to turn this one up to a nice high. All the way up, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is pick up one of these fancy little square plates that no one gives a shit about when you order food throw it across the kitchen, okay? That's what you're going to need to do. In the meantime, let's go play with the food processor. Let's put some tuna in there. I'd appreciate it if the game didn't crash. Let's put a trout. Okay. Mr. Trout, I'd like for you to go in there. There we go. And let's go ahead and Hello? This is my favorite. Just give it a taste, but turn blades off first. We don't want you losing another hand. Ah! Ah! Alright, why is it not working? There we go! Now that we have our, our slop here, let's go ahead and add it to our stew. And I think I missed everything. <laughs> oh, look. The oven. Okay. Um, Alright, I think our stew is done. And let's go ahead and get a bowl. Put that right there. Nope, nope you go back in there. There we go. We gotta get some chunks. Did we get any chunks? No, nope, those are all on the floor. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be worried too much about it. We have our delicious soup. And let's serve it. And I think we broke the game. 
Oh no. Yeah, I think we broke the game. Uh. Well, let's uh, let's try that again. <laughs> oh man, they wouldn't even eat my stew. Come on, bro. I think it was gonna be a good stew. I don't know about you guys. I just wanted to get le like at least a half a star. My famous trout tuna ginger soup stew. You know? I mean, come on. Okay. So I guess none of that counted. Our chef genius. It was kind of stifled there, you know? Ding! We're open! Can we... Can we... Can I move now? Thank you! Alright. We'll cook it for real this time. Give me that salt. Why is it hanging off the one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, fifth. There we go. Uh, yeah, we need to buy more black pepper. Spicy. Black pepper. One, two, three, four, fifth. All right. Let's get that on the flat top. Not that far back. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Uh, yeah, so I think um, I think it's actually... It, the bar resets whenever you flip it, so I think you got to get it all the way on both sides. Uh, then we're going to need a lemon. I just wish there was more variety in the recipes and the orders in this game, but like this is a demo. you know. I think the full release game comes out here in a few days or some shit like that, so hopefully there's a lot more complexity to it. What did it say? I don't even know. It doesn't matter as long as there's... Put it right like that. 60, I don't know, 80 grams, thick slices, 20 grams each. God lord. Ish. There you go. There you go, dude. There you go. 17 grams, 31 grams. 21. See, pretty close. And like 11. <laughs> Lol. Alright, so that's cooking. What do we garnish the plate with? Just that? Oregano. 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 And, uh, yeah, someone did point out, I, I wasn't paying attention to what, I, at what, I wasn't paying attention whatsoever to the garnishes. I just, like, thought, I don't know, for whatever reason, like, when I worked at a restaurant, you just put, like, one little, you know, one little piece of parsley, basically, one little piece of oregano, and I didn't even pay attention, it, it does say eight grams, so, uh, each one of these twigs is four grams, so that should help with the, with the rating, um, on the dishes. Boom. Like a glove. Man, making me cook this stuff in this game makes me really want uh, a tuna steak. I haven't had a tuna steak in a hot minute. I love me some tuna steak. I actually, earlier when I was joking around about medium rare, that's I actually do like my, my tuna steak medium, medium rare. If I'm somewhere where I know it's it's good fresh tuna, like if... If I get a tuna steak in Missouri, I'm not going to be ordering that thing medium rare, let me tell you. But uh, if I'm in, you know, Florida or somewhere coastal or something, obviously, then I will. You know, if I'm like, if I'm in Colorado, like obviously the freshest seafood in the world in Colorado, so I'll do it there. But you know what I'm saying. But uh, anyways, thanks to uh, thanks, thank you so much for all the support on. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> yuck! Thanks so much for all the support on the um, simulator vids lately. I feel like you guys have been enjoying the simulator videos. And I've been enjoying making them. There's so many stupid simulator games out there. You know, like, really dumb ones. And not saying that this one is dumb, because this one's actually pretty well done. And so is the uh, the Treasure Hunter simulator, if you guys haven't watched that. 
I think the first episode went up yesterday as you're watching this. Um, that was fun, too. I enjoyed that. I think I'm going to play that after I play this, get some more episodes made up. But if you guys have any other simulator videos that you guys want me to check out, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see what I can do. Let's see if I can flip this off my spat. Oh, I think we need to get a little closer. Oh, God. Yep, just... Okay. Okay. How many times am I going to drop a steak on the floor in this game? It's like almost mandatory at this point. I should just take it off the flat top, throw it on the floor, and then pick it up every time I make a steak. Wait, was there a garnet? Uh, I mean, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I didn't know if I had to put a spice on it before we served it. Boom! That's a 17-star steak right there, dude. Prettiest plate I've ever served. Okay, taste was terrible. What? What? Why did I... Okay. Client is not pleased and wants a refund. Really, dude? Because, like, I served it in good time. What, what was wrong with it? What did I do wrong? I put the I put the salt and pepper on, right? Yeah, I did. And I grilled it perfectly on each side. I mean, yeah, I dropped it on the floor. There might have been a couple pubes on it, but, like, is that really my fault? I don't think so. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Speed up time. Come on, give me my next order. Another one? Uh, just the same? Okay. I just failed that miserably, though, so, like, I would appreciate not having to cook it, but I guess we will. I wonder if the order time doesn't actually start until I click it. So you could, like, literally get everything started and then click the order to have a better serve time. It said thick slices, 20 grams each. Like, was he that mad about the freaking lemon, dude? Look at that. 21, 24, 24, 11. Okay, I screwed up the first one, but hey. Um, oh, and I forgot this. Wait, did I not? No, I did. Didn't I? I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think I might have forgot to salt and pepper it, and that was why. Maybe not. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. That was one thing whenever I was working at a... I'll probably end up telling a bunch of stories. Um, 60 seconds for each side. That doesn't look like 60 seconds, though. It looks like way more. Maybe I'm wrong. Here. Here's what we'll do. Once I flip it, I'm going to set that timer for 60 seconds. Um, anyways, uh, when I was working as a line cook at the steakhouse that I was at, um, I cooked on a flat top grill like this. It was actually like twice, if not three times bigger. It was massive. Um, oh god, where's my spatula? Just grab this by hand. I can't. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Where's my spat? Damn it. Um, but yeah, I worked. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I worked on a flat top grill like this. Um, and let's see, set timer. And one of my jobs um, that you had to do on the flat top was on Fridays and Saturdays, we would serve prime rib. And the way that we made the prime rib is we would smoke it for, I think, three hours. Um, and if you guys don't know, a prime rib is basically just like the entire chunk that you would cut um, ribeyes from. So you smoke the entire piece of meat. You're talking a, a log of meat that's like, I don't know, it'd be like as long as this grill probably weighs 20 pounds, right? So you smoke that entire log. You'd probably do like eight of them for a Friday night, right? And then when an order came in, the, the, the customers were allowed to order it in whatever size they wanted. So if they wanted, you know, a 6-ounce prime rib, they could order that. They could order a 10-ounce, 12-ounce, 16-ounce, 24-ounce, whatever they wanted. didn't matter. Um, but I would just have a solid log of meat there and a, and a really nice knife. And when the orders came in, I would have to cut it to, to size, you know. And you're talking about prime rib. It's a very expensive thing. And so you would have to be able to eyeball, you know, what a 16-ounce slice of prime rib would be 
or a 24 ounce slice of prime rib or a 10 ounce slice or whatever the case may be and uh it was fun it was really nerve-wracking at first but once you kind of get over like i don't know caring as much i guess um it wasn't it wasn't too bad i was actually pretty good at it well i was i was also a meat cutter um where i like had to cut all the steaks and everything so like you know i had a little bit of practice with that um but yeah, that just reminded me of trying to cut that lemon into uh, four 20, 20 gram slices or whatever. Can I get more than one? No, I cannot. This is stuff I could have been doing while the tuna was searing! Alright, let's see if this one's any better. Another refund! Wow, two star says, yeah. What am I doing wrong here? I'm, I'm genuinely curious now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <clears throat> so I'm doing the salt and pepper. So that's the last order for the day. It should be. It only lets you do two uh, two orders per day. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm dropping it. There might actually be a negative effect on the food when you drop it. And I've dropped everything that I've served today so far. Um, but yeah. I don't know. This this game definitely brings back a lot of uh, brings back a lot of memories of working in a restaurant, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Like I said, I'll probably be telling you guys a decent amount of restaurant stories. So whether that's a good or a bad thing, I don't know. It's just too much fun to just mess around in this game because you can. Oh god, it's freaking out, dude. What do these buttons say? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> uh, yeah. That'll be good, right? Did it cook? Let's put it on high. What if we just keep keep nuking it? Like, would the fish just explode? That'd be cool. I think if I break appliances and stuff, you actually have to like uh, you have to like pay to get them fixed. Because it says something about that in the beginning of the game. It's like, be careful. Uh, repairs are expensive, or something. I don't know. Something along those lines. But look at all these utensils. Oh my god, we can get a blowtorch? Yes. Give me that. I just want to, like, light stuff on fire. Oh, the, the sound is stuck on. We finished taking orders for today. Is it making a different noise now? Dude, the trout's almost done. <laughs> Next door for trout. I'm just going to microwave it and see what they think. Look at that. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. And here's what we do. This is where they, they can't tell the difference if you just put a little sear on it, you know? How do I? Jesus Lord. I just put a little sear on it. I think if I try to serve it without an order being made, uh oh, I think that's when it crashes. Damn. Alright, well, it's a good time to uh, sign off for the episode anyways. Look at that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. I do appreciate the love on the simulator videos, like I said. And uh, if you want to see more, let me know some love on the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.